Hey guys, this is my porch. Well, here's my porch first. Here's down here. Got my little skeleton. All right. Got my little rip thing. Got a little ghouls. They light up, yet you can't see it until nighttime. Okay, up here I got chain. Up here I got this weird ghoul. Come here. Look at the camera, damn you. There, I got that weird guy. Got another cheap chain mirror. Got this thing where it says enter, death awaits, whatever. And here's the main attraction. Oh, I noticed I set this all up. I had no help with it, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it's still awesome, which means I can take all credit. I put that tail together, took for our autopsy room. For pants, just took a pair of my pants, stuffed some shirts in it, tied up the bottom. Then I tied up the body. This is a fake hand, which I attached to this with pins. That way it won't move. Got some chains attached. Got another shirt which I stuffed with stuff. And we got the head being cut off by the doctor. Got his arm attached to a little axe. Which I just stay. Stay. There we go. Okay, for the um blind guts thing. It's simple. I just took um food coloring, put in a bowl of water. And then dip toilet paper. I mean, not toilet paper. Paper towels. There you go. Put dip paper towels in the red food coloring. But to make it nice red, you need to add blue. Or else you get a weird pink. And don't know why it's getting black. Don't know, Jeff. That's because it's dry. It's a little... Doesn't look like a neck. So you just cover it. It looks... A uh, little like a neck. And here's my favorite part. The pumpkin. It's a big pumpkin eating a little one. See, he's screaming. We got a big pumpkin with his teeth. The teeth are green. If you don't see them. I did. And for this, I simply just, you know, skinned right here after I cut it. Like, I skinned this off. So it changes. This one, I like skinned it off and there's green underneath. I could have took that off. Yeah, I just decided to leave it. And then I carved a little pumpkin and put them in his mouth. Same thing. This one got teeth. Got your eyes. This was out here yesterday, so it's a little dry. Today's Halloween. My costume is um pretty cool. Here's a few pictures of it. Okay, those were pictures. It's pretty cool. You'll see a video in, it in a second of me describing what it is. But yeah, my question: What are you doing for Halloween? Okay, got my stuff. Time to put on first the tie. Now since got the tie, time for the beard and the mustache. How I got this is my wig right here. The blue part was hanging too far, so I just cut it. Now attach this, you need eyelash glue. Oh wait. Hmm? Oh, I'm looking in the mirror. That's all I was about to say. Why is it backwards? Why if it wears backwards? I'm looking in the mirror. Okay. Now you just want to apply some of this right here. This is my beard part. How, how does this go? Okay. Okay, I got it. I do apply. To put a small strip right there and a touch. And there you go, you got wacky hair. Wacky hair. Now make it dry, you need to blow dryer. Got your little crazy beard. Now for the little curly mustache, just put a little dot right in the middle. And 
Well, simple. Touch. Right there in the middle. Now, pull the drive out so it goes faster. Not since you got your nice little mustache. Got my beard right here, it's all curly. My mustache flops around, but that's cool. It's supposed to be wacky. This suit, I got this suit from my dad, um, which is fine. He doesn't wear really wear suits that much. But yeah, I got my suit. It's big and wacky, which is good, good. What I like about my um, costume is it's 100% original. It's not copying some other costume like Scream. That's already been done a thousand times. And also, um, people keep thinking it's Willy Wonka. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a resemblance. I was inspired, but yeah. Got a little flower pen, which I simply put in the pocket, and it just looks like a flower. Down here is Bund, if you can't see it. Flower. Top just fell off. I push that in. Okay, there we go. And now, for the coolest part, the hat. Here's what basically I did. This is a Mardi Gras hat, which I got at Walmart a long time ago. And it is a clown's wig. I basically stapled um, the Mardi Gras hat to a clown's wig. That way I can just wear the clown's wig and it won't fall over. It will wobble, but it won't fall over. The front of the clown's wig. There's not that much hair. While the back, there's a lot. Oh, it looked like a... Weird clown. Now, the coolest part, Mardi Gras glasses. These um, didn't come with a hat, yet they're right underneath the hats and Mardi Gras glasses. Mardi Gras hat, what was that? That was like a spider. A spider were on, was on my glasses. Okay, I got scared there. Okay. Awesome. And there it is. My suit. All original. Cool. Now, go trick or treat. Now, like I said, what do you do for Halloween? I'm gonna go trick or treat around these streets, and then once I'm done, go over to a rich kid's area and where all the big houses are. More people. Yeah. Remember, put right behind. Well, what'd you do? And if it's already past Halloween, which it probably is, what did you do? What are you going to do next year? See ya.